Hi there, I'm James Whistler from Acid Yellow. This video is going to show you how to maximize the benefit of the formulas tab within Ironspeed Designer by using it to include and run custom written functions within your applications. If you're thinking of using custom formulas in your application, hopefully you may well be aware and, and are familiar with the formulas tab and how to utilize it within your application. The Formulas tab is available to you anywhere within uh, the IDE of Designer um, that it might be referenced usefully. So in this context, we're looking within the Show Categories table page within the Southwind example that ships with the product. And at this point, depending on where I click within my IDE and within the Quick Layout Editor, I do or don't have access to the Formulas tab. So for example, the picture label that we're looking at here that's going to be reading an image out of my database, um, we're not going to be able to attach a formula to a picture. By contrast, description is a field that's also being lifted out of the database, and as a result, you'll see when I click on that here, I get access to the formulas tab underneath. In this case, the designer is simply showing me what will happen and how that description field is getting populated. So it's being initialized when showing the record, and it's equal to the field um, description that's being lifted out of the categories table. So let's think about how to include a custom function. To be able to include a custom function, the first thing I'm going to do is pop over to here and I'm going to grab a generic label uh, from my toolbox. I'm going to drop that straight into my uh, field list within the, the detail row within the table. And now we're going to attach a, a custom formula to that and let's see how we're going to do that. Something that we should investigate or consider before we attempt to include our custom formula in our function is exactly where and how we're going to place that code and where that code is going to run. So we can write our function code, uh, define that as a function within our VB or our c -sharp files behind our pages or in our application and then we can reference it within the formulas tab. But the consideration should be given and where we're going to write that code and where as a result that function will be accessible from. When you're writing custom functions for use in formulas uh, within Iron Speed Designer, you can write that f function code locally. So that's either in the page level, so we could be writing that within the show categories table page, for example, or locally we could write that within the table or record control. So we could also um, decide that we're going to write that code specifically within the categories table control uh, within this page. The important point to mention there, of course, is that it's only going to be accessible from the various uh, table or record classes that we're going to be accessing it from or at the page level within this application. So depending on where you might want to make use or reuse of the function, uh, you need to give some consideration to where you're going to place that code. So we possibly mentioned there briefly that we can write that code locally and of course we'll look at that in a moment but we can also write that code globally so we can apply it globally across our entire application such that we can reference that function from any page or any area of the app or additionally we could write it only to be available to us within the UI of the page so effectively that or, or the application rather so it would effectively be available to us simply within the presentation layer and not lower down such as in the data access or business layers so first of all, let's consider an example we're going to write that code in at page level. So we're going to call this label, let's rename our label James, for example. And now I'm going to go into the code behind, behind the page. And you'll see down here, here's our show categories table page, and it's inheriting from the base application page we can now put in here our custom function. So I'm going to write our custom code. You'll have to forgive my typing. So we're going to call our function get custom value and we're going to use it to return a string. And it's simply going to return James's function demo. So there's our custom value held, as I mentioned, at page level. So if we go back, back into the Quick Layout Editor again, and now I'm going to say when we want to initialize this field, when displaying it, 
we're going to make this equal to the page so we're looking for the page class level get custom value function okay and if we now run that we should see that this function call that we've put into our formulas tab here is going to return the value that we're after so let's run that and have a look so here we are we click over to live preview and there you are you'll see that our custom function is being called as we know it's being called at page level and it's returning the value that we wrote in the code there simply from here this get custom value so in addition we could then write other custom values uh, or other, <laughs> other custom functions and incorporate them at table or row control level so in this case I'm going to move down to here and we're going to write that function into the table control here so let's write a different function uh, we're going to call this one get custom table value and again we're just going to simply return a string value we're not uh, going to make it too complicated of course you are free the joy of course of writing custom functions you're free to write uh, functions which are as detailed or as may be necessary for your application so in this case there's going to be table example and our function so we can now go back to our page uh, layout and we can now reference the get custom table value function in our formulas tab so I'm going to commit my changes there let's go back here and put in get custom table value so I'm going to go to my toolbox and I'm going to grab another label drop that in here and I'm going to rename this one James 2 and in this case what are we going to set it to instead of referencing the page now we're referencing the categories table control and we want the get custom table value okay so let's run that and see what that one looks like so if I click over to live preview again you'll see we're now reading table example so we're running that particular function again through our formulas tab but referencing a, a function that we've defined at the table control level this one of course we defined at the page level so both of those are local they're locally defined they're only accessible to us if we're writing code or functions within or on the show categories table page as I mentioned earlier of course we are free to actually write our functions to be globally accessible across either just the UI of our application or across the entire application right down to the data access layer so let's have a look at how we would go about achieving that there are two different code uh, members available to you then to achieve uh, that global uh, code accessibility or scope um, one of them is called formula utils and the other is known as base formula utils um, I'm going to shift over into my application folder this is the app that we've built here if I go into the shared folder here you'll see that in there we have a code member called formula utils so if you wanted to write a custom formula that would be accessible to you through the functions tab um, or the formulas tab rather um, that only within your UI then you would access and include your formula code uh, within the formula utils member within the shared directory you'll notice if you go into designer within your presentation layer you have the shared folder but if you pop it open you'll notice that you don't have access to that formula utils code straight through designer you would need to go into the shared folder within your application directory to be able to get access to it similarly if we come back up here and we go into the data access layer and into the shared folder within the data access layer there's another member there called the base formula utils in there so underneath formula utils if you like we've got the base formula utils similarly if we write a a function and we include it within there then we can access that through the formulas tab anywhere within our application all the way down to the data access layer again you can't immediately get access to that code element by going into the data access layer here that's effectively the folder that we were navigating into designer deliberately doesn't enable you to get access to that directly through the product but there's nothing to stop you 
including your code by accessing the, the uh, application directory structure itself directly. I hope that's been useful and I hope you now understand how to write function code uh, within your application, where to place it depending on where the scope of that function and you might want to access it from, um, and how to then in reference it within your formulas tab very simply uh, to achieve an extremely powerful piece of functionality within your applications. Thanks very much for watching.